Hey, buddy. <clears throat> so we're going to read Captain America Returns. The Mighty Avengers were in the Arctic Sea when they first saw Namor. They heard rumors that the legendary superhero and king of the underwater city of Atlantis had returned, and they were excited to finally find him. Namor hadn't been seen on land in decades. Atlantis is in ruins, Namor yelled as he approached the Avengers. The humans must have destroyed it. Because of that, I will take my revenge on all of you, Namor said as he leaped towards the heroes. The Avengers realized, quickly realized Namor was no longer a friend. After Atlantis was destroyed, he must have become an enemy, and now they were forced to battle him. Revenge will be mine, Namor shouted as he punched Iron Man across his metal jaw. Iron Man was shocked by Namor's strength, but he wasn't going to give up. Neither were the other Avengers. Earth's mightiest heroes knew Namor's powers came from water. Since they were near the sea, this would be a challenging fight. Namor knocked Ant-Man in onto the ice, then quickly came up from beh came up beh from behind Thor to attack him too. Just then, the Incredible Hulk used all his strength to deliver a mighty blow to Namor, instantly sending the King of Atlantis a hundred feet away. But the Avengers couldn't let Namor escape, so they jumped in the Quinjet and followed the Submariner into the icy depths of the Arctic. Suddenly, Iron Man spotted something floating in the water. Ant-Man left the craft to investigate and discovered that it was a man frozen in a block of ice. Ant-Man brought him into the sick bay, and Iron Man used his repulsor rays to warm the ice, freeing the man. The Avengers were stunned at what they saw. They had just rescued the famed Captain America. The Avengers stared at Captain America in awe. Captain America was the ultimate hero and super soldier. He had been lost at sea during the Great War, but now Captain America had returned. <clears throat> Do you know who you are? Thor asked when Captain America woke up. Cap was alarmed at first. It didn't know where he was. I think so, replied Captain America. You are one of America's greatest heroes, Cap, Wasp said. It has been a long time since the world has seen you. They missed you. I feel so tired, Captain America said. The ice must have put you in a deep sleep when you didn't, or you didn't age, Iron Man said. It might take you time to adjust, but I'm sure you'll be back to your old self very soon. <coughs> Iron Man showed the lost hero around the Avengers Quinjet. Captain America slowly began to learn about the modern world. He had never seen any of the gadgets the Avengers had on their ship, and he had to learn how to use them. When Captain America figured out how to turn on the TV, he saw an image of Namor on the screen. Cap couldn't remember who this person was, but he seemed familiar. Suddenly, something rocked the Quinjet, startling the Avengers and throwing them all off their feet. It was Namor. He had returned for his revenge, but this time he brought the Atlantean army with him. From the window of the Quinjet, the Avengers could see an armada of Atlantean soldiers swimming towards them. They were outnumbered. Like Namor, the Atlantean army became more powerful in water, and the Avengers had to get to land to weaken them. It was their only chance. The Avengers raced to land and fought long and hard, but there were just too many Atlanteans. Not even Earth's mightiest heroes could stop them all. And then, just as the battle appeared to be lost, a superhero who wasn't an Avenger stepped in. A red, white, and blue blur whizzed past the Avengers, knocking down one Atlantean after another. The Avengers realized it was a shield. The shield of the courageous Captain America. Now that Captain America was helping them, they could win the battle. Thor used his mighty hammer to defeat a battalion of Atlantean soldiers, while Iron Man, Ant-Man, and the Wasp fought against Namor and his men. Together, they were able to drive off Namor and his entire army. Cap and the Avengers knew they could not have done it alone. The Avengers had a new member that day. Captain America had joined those who had saved him from the ice, and now Earth's mightiest heroes were even mightier, and the people of the Earth were even safer, safer thanks to Captain America and the Avengers. Miss buddy. Love you.